Hey there. About two or three years before I ruptured my first patellar tendon, which was my left patellar tendon, talking about seven or eight years ago from this point, my knee tendonitis slash tendinosis got so bad that I could not sit down for more than five minutes. Well, that's about the time that I had just started playing basketball again after a number of years of purely focusing on bodybuilding. And I rejuvenated my knees through doing unloaded squats, which is where you have a, a, a band attached to an anchor on the wall, resistance bands. You grab the handles, you step back, you walk it back, arms are straight, and you go through a full range of motion squat. And I would do about a hundred of them throughout the course of a workout just to take the joints through a full range of motion and get synovial fluid and good uh, nourishing fluids to the joints. Needless to say, the knees felt perfect after a couple of months of doing that. Still playing basketball, still playing in the men's leagues. And the question that I got on one of the recent videos was, were there any symptoms or signs that you were going to tear or rupture your patellar tendons both times? No, there was not. They both felt great. Knees felt great. There was no pain whatsoever. I'm sure throughout the years I've damaged them and degraded them um, through the type of training in the basketball and whatnot. Tendinosis will actually um, start breaking the, the collagen down within a tendon. But there was no sign. The only predictor that I had for tearing my right patellar tendon was that I had already done my left patellar tendon. And the reason I say that, if you look at the research, when you tear one patellar tendon, you're 40% more likely to tear the next patellar tendon or the other patellar tendon. So my wife and I kind of knew that that was a good possibility, but I wasn't gonna let that stop me. I tore both of them playing basketball, ripped vertically and horizontally in the middle of the tendon. It wasn't an avulsion fracture, which in my opinion is really a, a completely different injury than when you tear a tendon in half. And that's that. If you have more questions about knee injuries or patellar tendon ruptures, you can post them below. If you like what I offer on this channel, Unlocking Your Inner Strength, hit the subscribe button below. And that's all I got for you. Peace, Kyle from Hillsboro, New Jersey.